Welcome back to Pizza Pals. It's me, your host, Colin Atchby Hagendorf, the only person that's ever eaten a plain slice of pizza at every pizzeria in Manhattan. And I'm standing in front of Grandma Rose's, one of my favorite spots in Williamsburg ever since the day it opened. John, the owner, serves up a mean slice, makes a very good plain slice. I'm personally gonna get a Sicilian today because I'm in a Sicilian mood, you know what I mean? This week we're gonna be talking to my friend, Cassie Ramon, girl I've known since way back. I don't need to, do I even need to do the resume? She was in Vivian Girls, she was in Bossy, she was in The Babies, she's in OCDPP right now. She's been an integral part, a pillar of the local Brooklyn music scene for as long as I can remember. I like it here. Me too. I've been coming here since they opened pretty much. I'm sure you have too. Actually, no, I lived upstairs for like, over a year before I ever came here, I used to always go to Carmine's, but then I decided that I liked Grandma Rose's better after I tried it. Yeah, yeah. it's really good. Um, you're from Jersey, right? Yep. What part of Jersey? Uh, North Jersey, Bergen County, Ridgewood. What's your first pizza memory? Probably like the mall, like Sparrow or something. I, I really liked Sparrow <laughs> a lot when I was a kid. <laughs> cool. Like when I was like very, very young. Yeah, that's, whenever, whenever I went to the mall with my parents, I uh, would always want Sparrow. Go to the I, food court, hit yeah. that Sparrow. And I, I still like it, I still enjoy it, even though it's pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we can get into this. It's, we're still punk enough that we can talk with our mouths full. I dreamt of the hell to come If I didn't wake up in Rome I've known you for a long time. Mm -hmm. I've seen a million bands that you've been in play. Uh, what was your first band? My first band um, was this band called Upholstery. It was okay. me and my two best girlfriends in high school and our guy friend Josh. Uh -huh. So it was like three girls, one guy. We like would usually just like get together, hang out, like write music and record on uh, on cassette four track um, at like Josh's house. And it was a really fun band. I, I still stand behind it. I think it's pretty good. It's like Beat Happening meets B-52s. It's like very like campy, like funny songs with like this extremely lo-fi aesthetic, but I, I still stand behind it. I think it's a pretty good band for being a high school band. Did you write the songs? We all collaborated. Like, Do you remember uh, any of the song names? Yeah, I remember all of them. Um, we had a song called Riboflavin. We had a song called um, <laughs> XXXmas, which was about a like straight edge kids partying on Christmas. Um, <laughs> we had a song called uh, Be Werewolf, like Beware the Werewolf. Sure, yeah. We had a song called Dimming the Lights for Romantic Effect. It's like our like sexy song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah lots of good stuff. And then what was the next band? The next band is called Bossy. That was Bossy. Yeah, with Jamie Ewing, Justin Sullivan. And mm -hmm. that band was around for like maybe a year. We'd play all around in Brooklyn, at like houses and stuff. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, band. totally. I, I was <laughs> listening to that record like 18 hours ago. Sick. I listened to that shit all the time. That's awesome. Yeah. So after Bossy, I started was Vivian Girls. Vivian Girls. <laughs> Watching the way that like Vivian Girls got. I don't think any of us knew what the like kind of like indie uh, hype machine was back then. Yeah, not you know really. I mean? Yeah, I wasn't really like paying attention to that world at all. Yeah, like I wasn't prepared to see the ways that you guys just suddenly became super popular. So I'm sure it was really weird for you. It was really weird, but yeah. it was also pretty cool. Yeah, no, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> all of a sudden you're like playing some festival to thousands of people or something yeah. like from the living room of the fort. To yeah. The, it was definitely like really scary. Like it took me like a very long time to like learn to love playing to festival crowds. Sure. Like at this point in my life, I'm comfortable with, I mean, I haven't done it in a while, but like I'm comfortable with it. But it took me like a few years to like get over that hump, you know? Yeah, of course. Really, really crazy stuff. There's no job to pay the rent. It's late, no you're just getting home. You're tired, you didn't eat enough. Yeah. Nothing is open. You go in there, you gotta get a salty treat a sweet treat and a drink? A uh, sweet treat, uh, probably gummy bears, or like Skittles. I really like gummy bears and Skittles, but, but only really Haribo gummy bears. Like I remember one tour, like it was in Europe and I like would eat like a big thing of gummy bears every single day in the van. I don't know what was wrong with me. What I, what I get to drink is probably a can of Sprite or like a, like a San Pellegrino soda, like, you know, those like orange ones or something. Yo, the blood orange. Blood orange is like my favorite. I mean, I love them uh -huh. all. I think they're, I think every San Pellegrino is really, really good. And you feel yeah. like healthier because you're, there is fruit juice in it. Yeah, it feels healthier because it's got an Italian name. Yeah, and it, it's like fancy with that like silver foil. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, like either a Sprite or a San Pellegrino. I think 
it's greasy enough. I see a moth. That's a missing part of his wing. And uh, that's pretty much it. Love.